policies that are systematically harmed by Shell's unscrupulous business. <laughs> it is time to recognize our local communities from Indonesia to Nigeria, Curacao, Groningen Island, South Africa and Argentina have led the resistance against the racist, extractivist oppressor that Shell is. A just transition means recognizing and making Shell pay for crimes perpetrated against nature and people for profit. We are also here today in solidarity with Shell's workers. The management uses its empty promises about sustainability as an excuse to fire people. Yes, Van Buren announced its plan last year to lay off between 7,000 to 9,000 workers as part of a green transition strategy. So really, according to him, it's because of the environment that people are going to be jobless. This is called green capitalism, and it only exists. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh. Nice. So, this is called green capitalism. It only exists to justify more neoliberalism, more austerity, and more hardship for the working class. And like Shell, we know that the solution is not to lay off workers. Workers are not the problem. Shell is the problem. It is time for just transition for Shell's workers. They should not pay the price for the destructive decisions made by the top management. And finally, we are here in solidarity with all those affected by the climate crisis, now and in the future. Shell has been part of the exclusive circle of the top 10 most polluting companies in the world since the end of the 1980s. This bright scientist warning about oil's harm to the planet since the 70s <laughs> the volume of crude oil that Shell has been extracting from the ground has grown exponentially each year. Misleading the public and politicians has been completely part of Shell's strategy, and this is all for profit. Shell's lies and now. Multinational companies are not the answer to the climate destruction. People are. <laughs> to throw even more sand into our eyes, Shell's leadership, much like other resource exploiting companies, set itself a target of net zero emissions by 2050. Even their accountant has recognized that the target of such net zero emissions was at best a small screen and at worst a fucking scam. <laughs> Shell is a for profit resource exploiting company that we always see in the, in the environment and our lives as commodities. Its promises of our environmental targets are marketing strategies. Today, Shell is holding its general annual meeting. In the, inside this building, right now, Shell's board is pretending to save the planet when really they're choosing how to best maximize profit to redistribute to its investors. Oh. This is unacceptable. Dismantling Shell is the only responsible thing to do. If we are to survive tomorrow, then this will have to be without Shell and its dirty business. It is an illusion to think that Shell will ever change. They will keep exploiting natural resources because this is their business. This is what they do. They make profit of exploitation. And this stopped today. In times of a climate crisis, an ecological crisis, and a human crisis, we do not need green capitalists. We need a system change. Shell cannot be reformed. Capitalism cannot be reformed. This is why today we make Shell history. Shell